Hello, my dear friends, Mike Shreve here. I wanna give you a really quick tip on the fastest way to give yourself a raise as a freelance professional writer. So if you're writing for clients, here it is. The more you can move towards writing materials that lead to a sale, the more a client is going to pay you. So let me give you an example. Most writers, myself included, I've been writing for 10 years now, full time. Nine of those 10 years, I've made six figures. The first year that I was writing as a professional freelance writer and doing it full time, I was an quote unquote article writer. Right, so it was kind of blogs, but not really blogs, but kind of not really. It was basically SEO keyword stuffing, right? I didn't get paid very much. And that's because when a client would buy my services, they wouldn't make a lot of money off of those services. Yeah, maybe I could get them traffic and yeah, maybe they could get search rankings, but it was very difficult for them to tie what I was doing to their bottom line. The second that I started adding sales oriented sub specialties, AKA sales, copywriting, direct response specifically, the second I started to do things like learning how to write emails for a product launch, learning how to write long form sales letters, learning how to write video sales letter scripts, learning, the second I was able to make that shift, I went from literally getting paid $5 an article. I mean, this was back in iWriter and Elance days, 10 years ago, right? <laughs> it was a wild, it was the wild west back then. When I made that shift, into the sales oriented kind of writing, $5 an hour or $5 an article to as much as $250, $300 per hour as a sales oriented writer. My clients changed as well. So when I was writing articles, I often had like, to be honest, kind of sleazy, scammy, article stuffing clients where half the time I was writing stuff and I was like, I don't think this is ethical, right? <laughs> like this doesn't seem right. It feels like we're kind of scamming the Google system or whatever. Nowadays, I'm writing for people like Mel Robbins. I'm writing for people like Success Magazine, Darren Hardy. I've written for Russell Brunson. I've the, the, the class of client has risen because those clients that are sales oriented and sales driven just tend to be more successful just as a general rule. Now you may say, okay, that's great for you, Mike, but I don't want to be a sales letter writer. I don't want to get into sales. I, I hate sales. I don't want to do it. One, I would recommend doing some research and really asking yourself how much do you hate sales? Because I know a lot of people and I've helped a lot of writers who at first they're like, I hate sales. But then when they realize, what it takes to write something like a sales letter, they're like, oh, this is more about human psychology than it is about, you know, sleazy used car salesman tactics, right? So one, I would challenge that idea of yours, but then number two, if you absolutely are like, I'll never write sales letters, then what you need to do is get into the content marketing side of things. So it's different than just writing blog posts, it's having a fundamental understanding of things like complete site architecture, in other words, if what's the difference between this type of blog post that has a very specific purpose maybe of search engine rankings versus this type of blog post which has a very specific purpose of just getting attention. Some blog posts are written to last forever. Some blog posts are written just to get attention momentarily to drive traffic to other and et cetera. And I could do a whole nother different video on all of the different content marketing sites. But again, the number one way to give yourself a raise as a writer is to bring to the table more value as a writer. In other words, when someone hires you, the easier that they can say, man, I love hiring Mike. Every time he writes an email, we make sales. When you can get into that position, or I love hiring Jessica. Every time we hire her to do her content marketing thing, whatever that is, however that looks, every time we hire her to do that, we see traffic and more leads and more sales. When you can make that transition, you will, I promise, raise the level of your clients. And number two, get paid more for the same amount of effort. So consider that. Hopefully this has been a helpful video and I'll see you in the next one.